Hey everyone, how you going? This is Bryn Smythe with the Bryn Smythe Music Workshop. Um, in the last video I did, I was talking about harmonics, both natural and artificial, and uh, basically how to play them. In this video, uh, it's, is, it's basically an extension from that. What I'm going to be teaching in this one is uh, using harmonics in like a chordal type uh, structure, and a, t and a chordal type way, as opposed to a melodic type way. Um, and there's two ways to go about that, and I'm going to show you both. So, what I've got is my six-string bass, because playing harmonics on a fretted instrument is a lot easier than playing it on a fretless. But that doesn't mean that, you know, you should be practicing on every instrument you can, ideally. So, there's two ways to go about doing harmonic, um, harmonics and chords. Uh, and it, re it revolves around the same concept anyway. What I'm going to be doing, um, I'll talk about the using open harmonics for chords first. Okay, so when you're playing an open harmonic, which if you didn't watch the last video or um, you already know about it, whichever way, every time you play o over a particular fret, you can actually play a harmonic. So there's 12, 5, well, yeah, 12, 7, 5, just before 4, just after 3. I don't like this. I really don't like this. I'm going to do it once more. I'm going to do it very slowly. <clears throat> okay. Five, four, three. Hey there, this is Bryn Smythe with the Bryn Smythe Music Workshop. Now, the uh, last video I did, I was talking about um, harmonics, both uh, natural and artificial. In this video, is, is basically an extension from the last one. What I'm going to be talking about is harmonics over chords, or using... Um, using harmonics as chords and there's two particular ways to do this using both um, open harmonics like natural harmonics and artificial harmonics as well and I'll show you how to do that so what I've got is my six string bass my six string Ibanez because uh, playing harmonics is actually easier uh, to do on a fretted bass than it is on a fretless although I you know, should be practicing on everything you can ideally so there's two ways to go about it. We'll do the natural harmonics first. So when you're playing a natural harmonic, and just to give you a brief rundown again, or if you go over a certain fret and just lightly touch it and play a string, you can play a harmonic. The most popular ones are 12, uh, 7, 5th, uh, just behind the 4th, just in front of the 3rd, I mean, sorry, just after the 3rd, and just before the 3rd as well. They're usually the more popular ones. But each one of those harmonics actually represents a note. If you study the harmonic, uh, the harmonic sequence, um, you'll be able to find out. Well, I'll give you a rundown anyway, just quickly. If I'm playing this G string, if I'm playing the fifth fret, that's actually an oct uh, two octaves above. So I'm actually playing a G. That's on the fifth fret. If I'm playing the just, if I'm playing this one, that's actually uh, a major third above that. So I'm actually be playing instead. Of, that's actually going to be a B. If I'm playing this one, that's a minor third on top of that one, which is actually going to be a D. So I'm actually playing, using these three harmonics, that's actually the G major triad. And that works on all strings. I can do the C, and I can play C major triad, C, E, and G. And that works for all of them. So, once you understand that um, harmonic sequence, all you need to do is just apply it to a, a bass note, a root note, and just play it at the same time. It's as simple as that, simple as concept. So if I'm playing, for example, a C, C root, I've got a couple of different combinations I can use to play certain types of chords. If I was just going to go for a normal C major chord, all I have to do is just stretch my fingers so I'm playing the root note, and then just using my little finger over the fifth fret on both the uh, G string and the C string, and that can create the C major chord. And you can even, you don't have to just do normal major triads, you can actually put some sevenths in there as well. I could play C root, and then use the fourth fret on the G C and G strings. And that actually brings out, because I'm actually playing the E, and I'm playing a B. So I'm actually playing a C major seven now, so I give it a bit more flavor. So instead of that, I'm playing. And you know you can work that on on most most notes and most um, uh, combinations and such. So for example, you know, and you just experiment around as well. So you can get something like you know, yeah, 
that's uh, that's one more thing I need to stress as well. When you're playing these type of um, harmonics, you know, for, for chordal stuff, make sure that when you're playing the root note, make sure you keep your finger um, away from the strings as well. If you keep your string, if you keep your finger flat on the strings and you're trying to play a harmonic, for example, if you try and do this. Yeah, it's just going to sound muted because to play that harmonic, you need the entire string to do that. So you've got to make sure that you keep your finger bent, keep it away from the other strings, and you should be able to get it out that way. So yeah, let's try that again. So. So the second way to go about this is using artificial harmonics. What I might do is actually bring this bit down so you can see the right hand a bit more. Okay, so to do the artificial harmonics, um, in my last video I showed you two different ways. First way was using your thumb to act as a node. So basically, um, use your left hand, play a particular type of chord. For example, I'm going to be doing the uh, E minor 7. Using your thumb, go up to 12 frets, and then you can usually play the octave above that uh, the octave above that note. So use your thumb, put it over the fret, and just use your index finger or your middle finger just to play the note. Kind of like that. And that works for all the frets. So you can go down to a D major, you know, you can do a different type of chord. And you can, because I'm using different frets here, I have to use different frets over here as well. So that's one way of doing it. The other way to do the artificial harmonics is by using your index finger as a node. Putting that over the fret and using your middle finger or your ring finger to play the note after that. So... I prefer using my index finger because it's a lot more accurate and it gives a more rounder sound. It's not really bright or snappy as using your thumb and your index finger. So use your index finger and your middle finger. gives a more, fl more of a rounder, kind of flatter, more sound. So... Doing um, harmonics to create chords, obviously, do your shape, whichever one you want. So I'm doing an E minor 7. And then just basically play the harmonics just over that root note. And then you can go to a D. You can go to a B minor 7. And then I can play a C major 7. See, as I'm moving. As I'm moving the my fingers around here, I have to make sure I move my fingers around here as well in unison. Um, and you can you can you don't just have to go up 12 frets. The further you go up, you can actually play higher harmonics on that as well. Uh, for example, stuff like that and um, you know you can make it more musical sort of thing as well um, if you really want your harmonics to stand out a bit more or give it a lot more edge um, put it on an overdrive and it usually comes out a lot more stronger as well uh, providing that you've got your treble set up on your overdrive I haven't at the moment but let's see how it sounds You gotta really be careful. I'll just do another round. Yeah, it's, it's one of those things you really do have to practice a lot, but um, uh, if you really want to see a lot of this stuff in action, especially um, harmonics over chords, definitely check out, um, there's actually a book and a video of Steve Bailey and Victor Wooten, I think it's called Basic Streams, and I think I've got the book around here somewhere. Um, it's actually a video of it, and you can actually watch it on YouTube as well. Ugh, I'll grab it out. There we go. This thing here. 
that is just full of sheet music and full of tabs and all sorts and actually gives you a description on um, how to go about playing a lot of their songs and a lot of Steve Bailey's work which he uses a lot of artificial harmonics on that as well so I highly suggest um, watching that so you know Steve Bailey, Victor Wooten, Extreme Basses or Bass Extremes or something like that um, check it out because it's really really cool stuff um, otherwise, yeah, experiment with harmonics, um, experiment with chord structures and stuff like that. If you if you know your chord extensions as well, you know, sevenths, ninths, sharp elevens, all that sort of stuff, um, by all means, try that out as well because you can really get some really cool combinations and, you know, with the overdrive, you can really get those really, really gritty but awesome overtones on it as well. So, yeah, try it out. See how you go with that. 